Hi, good morning guys. Welcome back to uh, Baby's Kitchen. So today on Baby's Kitchen, I'm going to be making some muffins. So it's been a very uh, late morning. Uh, we got up late and so we're not going to be having a very heavy breakfast. We just had a very light breakfast this morning. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cover that by making something really good for brunch. So it's kind of like a late morning, uh, early lunch, you know. So, um, request from a uh, little one, from baby, that uh, she wanted uh, some muffins. So I'm going to be making some very healthy strawberry muffins. have some strawberries at home. So we're going to make healthy strawberry muffins uh, for today's brunch. So let's see uh, what the ingredients we need to make this uh, strawberry muffins. So the ingredients that I have here is, we're going to be using baking powder, baking soda, uh, some um, honey, and uh, yeah, it's kind of upside down, so I'm trying to drip the honey down to the top. Or you can even use maple syrup if you're living in Canada. So we have vanilla extract, uh, one egg, and then we have some lemon where we're going to use about uh, half of the lemon to make the zest. And then uh, we have some milk, uh, whole wheat flour, and then of course strawberries which are going to be diced really small. And also rolled oats, so it's really, really healthy type of uh, muffins. So let me prep the ingredients and then we can start making. So all the ingredients are prepped. As you can see here, I've got one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one cup of milk, half cup of rolled oats, and about one third cup of uh, honey. You can even use maple syrup. And we're going to add in about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I've got uh, about one teaspoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of baking soda and about one teaspoon of lemon zest. I'm not putting too much of lemon zest. I uh, My toddler doesn't like the taste of it that much. And then I've got one egg cracked here. Also, I forgot to mention earlier that we need three tablespoons of oil. You can use any oil that you want, canola or whatever oil that you have. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven. So I'm gonna preheat the oven here to 400 uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit and we're going to allow this to heat while we prepare the ingredients. So I have my um, muffin pan here um, all prepped up. So what you can do, you can even spray a non-stick cooking spray and then uh, straight away put in the uh, uh, muffin uh, batter. But here I'm using a silicone mold because I feel it's much more easier for me. So um, I'm using 12 silicone molds here. And also I forgot to mention, I have my uh, one cup of strawberries here. So I've diced it really small. Uh, so once it's actually in the batter, then uh, it'll be light and moist. You don't want to over mix it, uh, especially with the strawberries inside. So since I don't want to over mix uh, my batter, I'm just going to be using a regular bowl. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my flour. Just mix in all the ingredients. This is my one and a half cups of flour and then uh, my rolled oats and then give it a nice mix first just get it to well combine and then we're going to add in our milk and then make sure you mix it So like I said previously, you don't want to over mix it. Okay, and then we're going to be adding in our egg. Oil. And then our powders. So... So I've changed my uh, uh, petal here, so I'm just going to be mixing it. Don't want to over mix it. And then we're going to add in our strawberries. We just want it to be well combined, that's it. We don't want to over mix it. And uh, I'm going to add in my uh, honey. You can even use, like I said, maple syrup. It'll be even tastier too. 
So let's get all the honey inside. And give it a nice mix. You just want to make sure that everything is combined well. And then uh, for our last ingredients, I'm going to be adding in the vanilla extract. So that's about one Mama. teaspoon yes, I do. Okay. of vanilla extract. Just well combined it. Uh, that's the reason I don't want to use a uh, mixer because we don't want to overbeat it. So it's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spoon it into the uh, silicone mold about one fourth uh, uh, of the cup. So I have my uh, silicone pan here where I'm going to uh, scoop each of it with one fourth so probably like half a teaspoon one fourth or half so just to make sure that all the silicone um, mold actually gets uh, some better so we are going to scoop up everything just make sure you get all 12 molds with the batter so um, I've already scooped everything. So this is the first time I'm using the silicone molds. So that's the reason most probably why it didn't come to one fourth, but it came to a full cup. But you know, I'm gonna give it a try with the silicone mold anyways this time. So it's much more easy to peel off. So right now my uh, oven has already preheated. I'm going to be uh, in putting it inside the oven and we're going to be baking this for about 18 to 20 minutes or until cooked, you know, the brown top and all that. So my muffins are out from the uh, oven and it looks so delicious and it's brown and it's already cooked inside. So this is my end result of my healthy strawberry uh, muffins. So after allowing my um, the muffins to cool down for about 15-20 minutes, so this is uh, my little one's brunch today, so which is the uh, strawberry uh, uh strawberry uh, muffin and then uh she's got um uh, crackers cheese and ham uh made like sandwiches so it's actually ready made and then of course it's a treat for her i've given her Kit Kat chocolate so this is brunch so thank you so much for joining me uh today in watching my video where i made uh strawberry muffins so it's very healthy so i would say more healthy strawberry muffins uh, so please do try it at home and I can definitely uh, guarantee you that not only your toddler will like it but everyone in the family will love it uh, it's very healthy it's got all the good ingredients and uh, no sugar you know it's really good so um, if you like my video please give me a thumbs up uh, and uh, share it on your social media among your friends and don't forget if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button that's below this video and subscribe to my youtube channel the hummingbird mama and uh, also don't forget the notification bell so you'll always receive an email notification from my youtube channel hummingbird mama whenever a new video is uploaded so take care and have a good day Bye.